Hello everyone, my name is PGR Team America, and this is my Duels Warlock guide. So, Warlock used to be unplayable, but then two things changed. First off, they made their basic hero power dark art. Arts cost one, and they added Killmox into the game, who is busted. He is a 3-3 rush life steal and gains plus two, plus two for each card you discarded. And not only that, but it's an aura effect. So that means that if you cast equality, when this card is on the board, it goes from a 3-3 to a 1-1. One, one. But all of the stats that you gained from it being uh, buffed from the discards, they stay with it. So it's you have to basically silence it or hard remove it. So a lot of our deck is built around that. So I'm actually going to build the deck from scratch and explain why I'm putting in the cards I'm putting in. So first, the discard card. So Malchazar's Imp, Boneweb Egg, and Silver Wargold. So, and I'm actually also going to put in Soulfire. The only reason I'm putting in Soulfire is because the buckets that you get to add cards to your deck are affected by the cards that you put in your deck. And we want discard cards. And Soulfire is in the same bucket as Boneweb Egg and Silverware Golems. So in order to get more Silverware Golems and Boneweb Eggs, I'm going to put Soulfire in my starting deck. Um, you can also use it to help finish people off in the early rounds. Um, it, you, you're not playing it too much, but we're making our starting deck weaker in order to make our future buckets better which is important and then we're putting in the soul package so spirit jailer soul shear soul spirits satellite scholar boy drinker and sociologist just alicia then we are and then we just we don't want any more really synergies to affect our buckets um so we're putting in Philosophy, so that we can make a copy of our Killmox. We are putting in... Fire Breather, just because it's a nice AoE. We are putting in Cascading Disaster, which goes with one of our other cards, the... Uh... Cthulhu Shattered. Um, all of the Cthulhu Shattered cards are solid. And they all buff Cascading Disaster, so it works out well. And then for the final card, uh, this is a bit of a flex spot. Um, but I personally like Alexstrasza. Because how duels works is the first round you have 20 health. And then the next round you have 25 health. And then like two rounds later you go up to 30, to 35, eventually 40. So... A lot of the games, your strategy is to cycle through your entire deck, assemble Cthulhu the Shattered, and then finish them off with that. But what makes finishing them off a lot easier is when you play Alexstrasza, get them from 40 health to 15, and then you finish them off with Cthulhu the Shattered. Um, early on, in the early rounds, it's not as useful. You can use it to heal yourself even, but like, um, you're actually more likely to use it to heal yourself. But, um, like I said, it's a flex spot. It's, a uh, something I personally like, but I could see you wanting to put something that'll help you early game more. So just, you could just, you could put in, like, Minari Masha or something, but I like Alexstra. So here we go. So, we will start our first game. And so, I, uh, for the first... I'll put on the entire run, or I'll have the entire run in the video, but I'm going to try and explain my plays uh, more thoroughly for like the first five games. And then the rest will just be like how I play when I start. <sighs> okay, so in our mulligan, you're basically hard mulliganing for Melchizedek's Imp, Boneweb Egg, and Silverwork. 
And basically, you're, you you want to be discarding a card to just... You want to cycle through your deck as fast as possible. The cards that you never want to discard are the Cthune parts and the Cthune parts. <laughs> That's it. That you can... Most of the other things are pretty, um, they are expendable, and you just need to make judgment. Willow versus Mozaki. So we have Spirit Jailer, Philosophy, and so we have two of the discard cards. We don't need to toss, I'll toss away Philosophy. We don't need to toss away Spirit Jailer from Alcazar's Imp. It's okay to just toss it down. So, this is a situation that I think it's a little close whether you want. I actually think we're going to play this because we're against Mage and it's you you do not want to boneweb egg turn against a Mage. Um so we're going to coin Spirit Jailer and then Hero Power. Because when we do that, we get to see four cards. So if we only have four cards in our hand, it guarantees that we get to discard the Spirit Jailer. Yeah, no, we want to discard the Spirit Jailer. And just a tidbit, this isn't re super relevant, but the cards that show up the discard are always in the... Even if they skip cards, they'll be in the same order that they appear in your hand. So, uh, like sometimes there's two kill moxes and there's a specific one you want to discard because of how hand discounts will work. Um, you can determine which one is which based on that. Job done. Not super relevant, but um, just something you learn about the game. So the first game is well. There's also Smork, but I think this specific matchup will be more about board control. I'm going to hear before first. I'll get the Bone Web Egg down. Because we have a way to answer it if we're going to trade these. Because if he's using two of his three mana to ping, I think we're in a better spot now. Uh, combustion. Pretty annoying. But he's not getting mana worth off it. So. Fine. We have our philosophy, and we don't have our other demons in our hands, so we want to get that out of the way as fast as possible. Yeah, okay, like I said, this kill mox is this one, and this kill mox is. If I can just like, I'll show you right. thinking about what possible turns I'll be doing. I probably want to play this, so I think I can drop the Melka's or something. It's pretty hard for him to deal with that. It's a bit of a risk. Um, feeling pretty safe because we're at 20 and our kill mox, like we got the two kill moxes. We don't have any souls in our deck, but it's fine. Basically, the like the first few games, you, you you're finishing get through and like as you finish destroy. Also, it's notable that I I played philosophy before I drew because if you if you hero power first, you might draw a demon and then you're. Is there anything I would consider doing? Probably not. So. I'm gonna play this first, make sure I get a kill max. Let's go. Yeah. 
Just go fail. Um, so, if a mage is running secrets, typically they are running... Uh, they didn't play a secret, but typically if they're from their... If they're main decking it, it's usually either Counterspell or a Rigged Fair game. Um, sometimes it'll be Mirror Entity, but it's usually Counterspell or Rigged Fair. So you want... If a secret is up, you should be scared to play your... Kithu and Pete. And it was, I do not believe that Heroic... I'm, I'm playing in Heroic right now, and I do not believe that they are using... Up. Partially because... Um, I'm being paired against opponents that are putting basic cards in their deck. Like, Water Elemental is a solid card, but most people still don't put it in there. It's actually a tricky one. You just, you cannot afford to take the damage. Okay, so let's see. We have... Five cards left in our deck. Three Cthune, please. We need to play three Cthune. So we're we're basically on pace to be at the end of our deck. By the time we've drawn all the Cthune pieces. So six, seven, eight. So we want to play a Cthune piece. We can skip one turn on our way to turn ten. If that's how we want to. Okay. Yeah, this is okay. I see. I'll probably want to play Kilmox. We're at eight birds. Nine. Job done. That belongs in a museum. I'm gonna go Fire Breather Soul here, I think. Or no, we don't need to draw a card. I'll go Heart of Cthulhu. Phoenix playing Harrison. I'm 
I'm typically against tech cards, especially because Feora's Blade is so rare now. We typically don't want to run. Okay, so we're definitely playing a spell to test for counter here. <laughs> As I said. Um, I almost just want a soul fire to test for it, but we'll play Skull Spirit. And so as I said, all the times I've been talking about, okay, he knows, um, but if he had a mirror entity and we played Killmox, his would be, the stat would be based on how many cards he discarded, so it would probably be a three. Um, Sticky Fingers is okay, it makes all of the Cthulhu spells cost four. Cannibalism is really nice with the Boneweb Eggs. So if you get more of those, cannibalism is pretty sick. I think I'll go with that. Uh, Sticky Fingers makes it so that once you uh, discard Killmox, it comes back cheaper. That's also nice. Because then you can pair it with Gnomish Army Knife and OTK people later. But, um, I, I like discarding the Boneweb big so much. I'm gonna go with Cannibalism this run. And we are rewarded! So, our Soul Fire put in the deck to help increase our odds of getting the discard bucket pays off instantly. But yeah, so basically what we're looking for, we're looking for Boneweb eggs and Soul War Golem. And that is our priority in the, in our, um, Buckets fit. There was a soul bucket on the right that was okay, but um, like we're we're prioritizing those discards. Willow versus Selena. Are you trying to stain my perfect record? Hey, you! It's detention time. As far as second treasures go. What are we looking? I actually think because we have so many bono bags, we could eat. We could actually take the double death rattle. Double death rattle works when you discard bone web. It's pretty interesting. Um, I would probably say the soul buckets are the second best bucket, but it they're they're far behind the discard bucket. We're playing this first to increase the odds. Like, so in constructed, typically you want to draw before putting the soul shards and or soul fragments in your deck. But in this, with in these specific decks, you want to manipulate what you discard. That's more important. Or you make sure you get the minion on the board before you trade, so that cannibalism goes off. Cannibalism is so powerful. It cannot be understated. Alright, looks like he's got the full clear, but um... Like when the demon hunter is busy dealing with the board, Usually a good sign. So I want to get the bone web egg out. We're gonna try and manipulate that the best we can. If we so. Job done. Uh, we might be discarding that Alex Raza. Um, so we're 
not discarding a Cthulhu piece. Back. Do I play the Bone Whip? Um, it's better, it's better, um, when you have cannibalism, it doesn't feel as bad to play the bone web egg. Hey, loser. Hey, loser. I think he ordered that wrong. Oh, uh, never mind it. But he's at 8 health. Gonna play body of I was considering playing Eye of Cthulhu and getting him the one, but he has a lot of healing. And by a lot of healing, I mean he has Eye Beam and the Warblade. Um. But yeah, Alex isn't too useful for now, but part of so. A lot of why Alex is in the deck is because it won't affect the buckets and it'll be amazing later. Once people have like 40 health. But it, it is the, I would say it's the flux part of the main deck. And I could see people not wanting it, but I, it is a choice that I think is correct or not. Okay, so, yeah, the discard buckets aren't always great. So, we have Doomguard here. We will almost never play it. But the Bonoib eggs and the Silverware Golems are so good that you continue to take them. Like, I had a deck that got the 10 wins, and it had 7 Soul Fires in it. Because every one of those Soul Fires came with a Silverware Golem. Um, and it's just, it, the Silver War Golems are just so good. And you can, in Warlock, more so than any other class, it's better to take a bucket with a bad card and two good cards. Because you can literally just discard the bad card and you don't, like it doesn't clog your hand that badly. Like in Mage, a Pyroblast can completely ruin your hand. It, like if you have Goggles or something. Where Or a Demon Hunter, high cost card, can make it so you can't outcast them. But you don't have that problem in Warlock. Uh, so Killmox, you... Especially because we have the other discard things, um, you just, just keep it to start. There's a chance I'll coin out and play the Boneweb Egg, um, next. In a 
addition to hero power anyway. Uh, we want something to contest that. So we, we put down the... But yeah, we might play this coin, this or the boba bag. Or we would want a coin first. Next. Interesting for the Kind of committed to the play. I, um, I coined to guarantee it to increase the odds of getting a big. So we want to play the Spirit Jailer, play the Philosophy to guarantee it hits our kill mox. Um, let's see, how do we want to play this? I think we push 7 phase. It was- the trades were super awkward, so I'm just going face and letting him deal with the awkward- Cause like if we trade and he has AoE, the AoE's gonna clear. If we go face and he has AoE, the AoE's gonna clear anyway, so um... I guess maybe trading with one of them may have been worth it, cause you only push one less damage. Alright, we play the other one. Trying to do some quick math. Instead of sinking six under this, I'm just gonna go with it. He, he doesn't have access to Killmox. He could Heart of Cthun. That would be... He's also at 12 life. He hasn't played Philosophy. I believe he has two soul fragments in his deck. Out of time. Then trade. So 
his kill max is... I think he's discarded every time. Or no, he couldn't have discarded when he played the Void. So he's at least... I skipped one turn. Skipped one, I think. Oh, we can be looking for lethal since we have the five damage in hand. All right, we're one off right now. I taste. Or no, it's just lethal. Yay. So we got use from the Doom Guard anyway. Mega coins can let us ramp if we need to. Spy glass can be fun, like because your opponent might be holding on to a card a really long time, like Rattlegar, and then you just get to play it three turns earlier. Um. Oh yeah, these are not super impactful treasures typically. I think I'll go with that coin because it, it lets you ramp and play a card earlier. Really bad buckets. Really bad buckets. Um. So like Siphon Soul and Soul Share are okay. Smug Senior is awful. Unplayable. Um. For six man you wanted I would much rather play like a 2020 lifesteal rush than something that's gonna clog my hand twice. I don't think Alex is why we got this. Maybe it is. Um But I think maybe we should just take group learning so that we don't affect future. Like, if we take dragons, we're going to get more dragons later. If we take swarming, we might actually get more. I mean, let's see. I don't, maybe with the um, cannibalism, swarming is okay. Let's consider this. Ruby egg is better with... Since we have cannibalism, I think this has potential. Let's just be a little bit more aggressive. I think I'll take it. I've never, I don't know if I've ever been offered dragons when running this stuff. We are How can I kill what's already Okay, we dead. keep the bone web egg and we full discard everything else. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna play Malka's Zam coin bone web egg. Rocket Backpack is really strong, but his hero power, Bruising, is, um, zero mana, choose a friendly minion, and it attacks another minion, so what he can do is he can rush in a minion, and then have it, like, have Wind Fury and attack again. It's really powerful. You are not the boss of me! Next turn, we play Spirit Jailer, try and discard the Bone Web Egg. So 
So as, as unfortunate as that is, we're still in an okay spot. Like, we have a 3-3 three, three on board. And we're drawing two cards a turn. We try and get one of the discard things down, and then I might play a bone of egg just to keep up the pressure. Because if he does anything, so I, I'm more liberal playing these bone web eggs because of cannibalism. Playmakers are something I am willing to trade in. Uh, but he killed them all off, so... Let's see. makes our deck a little bit less like a lot of the time you can get to the second treasure without even um without even having a treasure that affects you but we actually have a treasure that's helping get there all right so we have to take in control we don't really damage ourselves so lesser amethyst stone is great we have a panic button, defensive removal, and good card. I think we just take this one. There are, these are just, we're getting really unlucky. At least our first bucket was so bonkers. Like our first two buckets. That I think they'll carry us. But um. For a little while. It'll depend on our second treasure. Our s the second treasure is so impactful. So, um, I don't know if I said this. So you get a passive treasure after your first game and after your fifth game. And the second treasure can potentially redefine your deck. It's not as impactful because the Warlock base kit is so strong that you can get to... S you can get the six wins pretty consistently. Even if you have two treasures that do literally nothing. But yeah. If you do get treasures that help you out. Um, like even double battle cry is just insane. Because it makes it so your Cthune. Like you just cycle through your deck as hard as possible. And your Cthune does 60 damage. Um... You can get Scepter of Summoning and your Alex draws a... Like, you can you can bring him down to 15 health at 5, at five mana. Um, we'll ditch the... Yeah, we'll just... We're, we're faster. Like, we do more damage faster. It would be nice to have more Melkazars in. I think we'll discard the Bone Web Egg first. And then Melkazar is in before going. Because he, he has more mana. We just have to not lose the board right away. Um, kind of annoying. You are not the boss of me. 
think I double trade. And be, I, I'm just sad about what happened. <laughs> but, um... It makes it so that if he kills... Like, he's gonna want to kill this, most likely. And we, we still have a pretty big minion. Forced out his coin. This, these were his turns where he had um, an advantage over us. Whereas we still have cannibalism. So we start off with philosophy to make sure it hits our kit mox. We can get to some AoE, that'll be really nice. He probably trades. I wanted to get the Silver War Golem on the ground. If we can get, um, like, we want, like, School Spirits now. Or, um, Fire Breather. But yeah, basically, if you have a philosophy in your hand and it hit, it'll hit Killmax, you really want to prioritize doing it. Because one of the most annoying things that happens in these decks is um, you'll have, like, sometimes if you were ever to get, um, what is it called, um, Ticketus in the deck, it's almost impossible to copy Killmox because it takes so long to get Ticketus out of your hand. That, um, it's just, it's super annoying. So whenever you can, whenever you can get, uh, the buff on Killmock, you want to go for it. I think I'm going to go for the discard first. Uh, we're just trying to mitigate damage. We're deeper into our deck. You are not the boss of me. Not, not for long. <sighs> we won't be able to kill that. Okay, his uh, his kill max is the same size as ours. And now he's got. We want to discard the golem, I think. Oh well. Job done. Okay, he skipped the turn buffing. And cycling, so third chance to get ahead. Like it, it's almost like it's a race to the bottom of the deck sometimes. Part of why it's like you you want to try and hero power every turn okay 
Okay, we get to kill this for free. So I think we just do it. Oh, I forgot to buff these. That's a mistake. Uh, these each should have two plus two attack on them. Not that it mattered, but yes, yeah, they should have had more attack on them. That was a mistake. So yeah, his is a 1313. 13. We've got two buffs on him. Okay, we're just recycling, we're playing Cthune pieces. And we're trying to discard cards that go on the board when This play. Is it? I don't know. I'm I'm worried about my hand size, to be honest. Because we're getting close. I might play Kilmax here. I mean, he has to kill this. He doesn't have the Cascading Disaster. So he... Okay, Exerciser is actually disgusting. <laughs> I actually want to pop both of these things right now. Um... Oh, that kills both of the Killmox... Or, Killmoxes. It makes him three threes. He held on to it for so long. Okay, so our game plan really is, um, cycle. guarantee that I don't discard anything. Bag of coins. Matter. Okay, we'll pop this first so that we get more buffs. How much damage are we looking here? 10, 18. Is that 3 for him? I taste. Don't also have the last one. We still have 2 left. We, we have the equivalent of 8 cards. Because, like, soul fragments aren't really cards in your deck. Because they just get drawn anyway. 
So I've got one, two, three, four, ten. Plus. Okay, Pete. Slow down. <laughs> this player I don't think I play a minion the rest of the game unless I have to when I discarded I wasn't offered kill mox right okay I wasn't what dog Pyroblast him. Take control of three enemy minions. Ah, an amusing mistake. The only minion I'll play is a Lucio. But I'd rather just like take but damage. Ah, <sighs> it's annoying. So he has to play Kelmox. In order to not die. Okay, so he's counting on the one and three then. Like, there's a chance for me to not draw Cthulhu in this. But I basically always do. Okay. 
I have the bag of coins, so I could even I could have discarded something to get a look at another. I, I may have made some mistakes in that game, but our game plan was solid. So let's see. Um, from the swamp is really good with our cannibalism. Double time is really good with cards like uh, Fire Breather. Doom Guard is counter synergy. It's good with uh, Elucia, and it's really good with Cthune. But I th I think since we have five five Bone Web eggs, I think it's better to take from the swamp because we have the cannibalism. But typically in these decks, I would say um, Battle Totem is better. But because we have cannibalism, I, I'm going to take from this one. Um, the threadle is okay. Soul exploits is okay. We're not getting these um, discards anymore, sadly. We were so spoiled our first two rounds. Um... And I didn't really consider Cadguards just because this deck doesn't run that many sp Sneaky Delinquent, I, I dislike that card so much. Leaning towards, like, Haunted Creeper is really, is really good with Cannibalism. <laughs> um... Kind of like I'm kind of ignoring the soul exploits. Our, our deck has been um, warped a little bit. Because of the cannibal. Okay, right, so this is going to be the last game where I'm fully focused on exploring the plays but hopefully you guys have enjoyed so far the guide if you guys have enjoyed please subscribe um You can also watch me on Twitch almost every day um, at starting at between 2 to 3 p.m. Okay, let's see. We've got a Boneweb Egg and a Killmoxin. We have been super lucky to have Killmoxes in all of our starting hands, basically. Um, typically, it's, typically, it is a huge issue to not get him. Because I'm so concerned about making sure we discard that unless if our next draw is solar or golem or bone my big oh my god so there is a potential for otk on turn three with his setup
still gonna play it. Because it makes it easier next turn to philosophy the kill mark. And I wanna get the bone wave down. Or do I? Because he has the um end flame. That's an outcast card. Job done. Because he has a pen flinger, I'm doing this one. You don't pick the ones. Really not a fan of sneak delinquent. But you guys will see the power of From the Swamp <laughs> if he plays many minions. Our, our biggest concern is that with Kedgar Scrying Orb, there is a card in his deck that can potentially... Uh, there's a card in his deck that costs 2 mana that if it's played on the right or left side of his hand, returns to his hand. So that already costs 1 less. And then there's also a card that makes outcast cards one cheaper. So you combine those together and he can play this card infinitely many times. can kill the um and flank. Better be something good. It's the Doom Guard. I have to kill the pencil. But yeah, we, we, this is more of a pressure game. We're going to be playing Phil Moxes on Curve, probably. Although, okay. Well, he obviously doesn't have Gift of the Legion in hand, which is a win for us. We're never getting to Cthulhu this game. Like, Body of Cthulhu itself would be nice, but we're never gonna play Cthulhu. There's more damage if we shoot our own guy. Rituals, you say. We're gonna get the turn eight.
Hey, thank you, Emmy. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. I do enjoy. Thank you so much for the support. Okay, so we've got ten. Um, I'm just gonna. Err. Okay, I can only add. I'm like, wait, I could soul. I was thinking about soul siphoning a minion, but you can only add four damage. And we're six off right now, so I can't kill him. So I'm going to. Yeah, we would still be six. Or I could, yeah. I'll just play body of kitchen. I will break body. Why not add more on board? Even though I don't get like everything, I I only get half of it. I mean, he's at six. You set up like the taunt makes it so that he wouldn't be able to break the even if he hit the infinite combo, probably. Oh, he doesn't even have... Oh. But he's playing the other treasure. Alright. Here we are, 6-0. and oh. Awesome. Okay, thank you everyone for watching my Warlock Guide. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And check me out every day on Twitch at twitch.tv America. And I will be continuing the run, but I will be more focused on interacting with chat. And just, it's just going to be how I do everything. But if all you're interested was the guide, um, thanks for watching. Okay, so now now I'm just going to do the rest of the run. Sorry if that was confusing to any of you. Um, and thank you again, Emith, for the sub. Uh, no more. But yeah, so I was making a video. So I was interacting with you guys less. Hopefully you didn't feel too neglected. I'm glad it helps you. I still explain, I just won't be exhausting myself. Oh yeah, so the way I fixed my internet is I turned off the Wi-Fi and so no one so no one else no other devices could use the internet. I logged into the modem and turned off the Wi-Fi. And that's what was caught. My upload was three, and it went straight up to the maximum speed once I did that. Willow versus Mozaki. Unlike you, I actually deserve to be here. I guess they'll give anyone tenure these days. Oh yeah, I thought that was funny. You don't understand the fights that I've had with my family. I kept telling them that something was using the Wi-Fi and using our bandwidth and they wouldn't believe me. They get on me out saying that I don't understand how the internet works, which is like, on some level true. My understanding is way over there.
Uh, it's this. It's just G two. So first we try to discard the silver we're going. Miss. That, that's just to trigger the counter spell. I'm with intention. You fight me, you get burned. Ouch. Turn it up. It says explode. This is gonna be tricky. This, the Cadgar's plus Ronin's on Mage is a lot better than Demon Hunt. Hey, don't say good game. I mean, it's it's good to say good game, but don't think that this game's over. I see. Yes. Uh, not drawing that turn does hurt. So now we can't we can't play uh Cthulhu. Oh my gosh. He didn't take counter spell. Guy is insane. Okay. I mean that's fair. That that's actually super fair. He was running out of gas. We're gonna be cycling hard. Um, play Jandis. the one soul fragment. Oh my god. Okay, so the guy that said good game might be right. Uh, we can twisting there.
But yeah, so part of why we, we took from the swamp is like, it gives us a second win condition. Instead of just relying purely on it. The Are you playing heroic nth degree? He's so gonna kill us. No, the Flame Waker got duplicated. <laughs> right? Yeah, the Flame Waker. No! <laughs> oh. I can only kill one of them. You are not the boss of me. It was the first card played. That's how I knew he was getting the Flame Waker. Because I killed all the cards at the same time, and the Flame Waker was the first played. But yeah, where's the guy that said it's always double battle cry? You think we would have lived long enough this game to finish Cthune? But yeah, him not playing any spells with the two Flame Wakers was a bit of an issue. Use a minion fill your board with copies of it. That's interesting because of the cannibalism. Archmage staff, also interesting. We do have some hand space issues. Um. Wait, what? Oh, Archmage. But I mean, Banana Split! Wait, yeah. So we can't actually... Pl like, so, if sometimes if you can play Kill Mox and Banana Split at the same turn, that's a game-winning play. But we can't actually do that, because we can't make it cheap. So I think it's one of these two. Oh yeah, you can't Ancient Reflection kill Mox. I forgot about that. Yeah, that just 
that just ends the game. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and bag of coins. But yeah, no, ancient reflection on Killmox is insane. Hey, OBN. Dude, I love. Wait. I love Godfrey. I think it's no more, please. But I've said this before Godfrey, my favorite card of all time. Because top decking him won me my tri well it wasn't actually a top deck but it was my like i was a warlock and i had one draw for it or i no okay i had a kobold lackey and tap so i had three draws with like five cards left or something and i had to get god To finish my reverse of Tincho, who's actually made it to the, um, like the, it was the contest before the world champ. But yeah, thank you everyone so much for hanging out. Um, I know I wasn't able to stream earlier today, which I apologize for. But I'm happy that you guys are all here now. Uh, if you enjoy, please be sure to hit the follow button in the right. You know when I am live. I probably, if I stream tomorrow, it'll be super late, like this time. But I probably won't stream tomorrow, but... Definitely long streams Friday, Saturday. For sure. Unless unless my internet goes out. But I I think kicking everyone off the Wi-Fi has solved my issues. Selena. Are you trying to stain my perfect record? Hey, you. It's detention time. I will ditch everything except the imp. Well, whoever was using all of our bandwidth on the Wi-Fi who got kicked off. Because my my upload was 3 and then I shut off the Wi-Fi and my upload went to 22. So someone is doing something they shouldn't have. I was thinking that. Running out of time. OMC Swain, thank you for following. Glad you enjoy. Got any questions? Feel free to ask. Don't pay 
like the one Oh man, I was I forgot that this was his hero power. No cap. I was like, I, w I was so thrown off by that. I do think something should be sick. I, I I'm I'm concerned that duels will struggle because of having to like it takes so much. Yeah, no, it's fair. It's super fair to like struggle to collect everything. Guys, I have an idea. This might not work, okay? I just want to throw it out there that this could very easily not work. Done. Uh, I just feel how does this not work so there's a card called immolation that kills everything I think he just realized how difficult this is going to be. Uh, let's see, we've got... Okay, we got Leap. You guys like to fist our opponents?
But like in order to triple fist someone, you need another per oh, I guess they could help out themselves. But that would be pretty difficult. I don't know, anything more than double fisting just feels irresponsible. Fist of Jiraxis is a 4 mana spell that when you cast it, it does 4 damage to a random enemy. But it also casts when you discard it. It's nice that it gives you cards that you want to discard to help you cycle. Because cycling is just what enables the deck to be so powerful. Free to play players. Well, no, you can't play Warlock. And like Hunter, you would need, I mean, crafting commons, you have, I have to assume that you're capable of crafting uh, like as many commons as you would need. Uh, I think Mage and Hunter, well, no, Hunt, I mean, you can play Hunter, but it's really not as good with the base hero power. It's probably Mage. Mage is probably the best class. Demon Hunter is a struggle with the main hero power, though. But yeah, like, you can just smart people with Hunter and Rogue. So I would say Hunter, Rogue, Mage, maybe Hello. Priest? How can I kill what's already dead? I think that's bruising. I did not get to play in the turn of sense. I don't think their community manager sees me as like a potential candidate. Like, he responds to me, but it, uh, doesn't sound very positive when he does.
Yeah, please don't have AoE, sir. damage is this? Okay, so... 20. We're one off. Yeah, a 40 health game, and I did 39 in four turns. <laughs> what do you guys think? I, I'm leaning towards puzzle. But everything else sucks. How are you doing, Hoots? I, I'm not gonna complain about the queue times for Heroic. I mean, I was waiting like five minutes consistently in casual. It was aw... it was awful. It was like my biggest complaint with duels. Unlike you, I actually deserve to be here. I guess they'll give anyone tenure these days. Does anyone know, does this crit plan on continuing to play duels at all? Or is he just it's done since the tournament's over? I'm too good. What do you mean he's played some since? He didn't play any today. The tournament was yesterday. Time. Job done. 
He, uh... I don't know, going one and five probably take a lot out of anyone. Anyway. He played such a his major list was so bad. did not play in the tournament. They want big streamers. I'm not a big streamer. I, I don't know if Australian is what's going to get me invited. Job done. I want another Boneweb Egg. I mean, Dreads is significantly bigger than me. But also, like... Part of my frustration is just that, like... I don't know, like, I'm actively promoting duels constantly, and like, a lot of the people they invited, after the tournament, they're just done with it for now. And for a while. And it's like, I would have kept playing it, obviously. Like, the issue with using a coin on the Mana Worm is they still are 1-1s. One one. We've messed up chat. Mind if I roll me? Relax. It's a party. Actually, I probably like I think my hand was empty enough that I could have played Loot Hoarder Ancient Reflections. What makes something real? But you guys started talking about the tournament too much and I got My fault. Just one more. Just one more. Oh crap, I messed up. 
I was I thought I was being so smart. Unlike you, I actually deserve to be here. I guess they'll give anyone tenure these days. Same person. I was wondering why it was so fast. Pikachu. Read you're pretty dead that game. Prepare for shock and awe. This is pretty liberal here. Of our coins. I kind of want to discard and then puzzle box them. Someday I'll be just like you. But that probably won't be happening. Oh my gosh. One mana Cabalist Tome. Wait, but oh, Primordial Glyph makes it three, two.
I think that's pretty good chat. He has to play as one of disintegration. We're probably okay with. Assuming he has it. You don't pick the one. Ooh, that gain and health is... Congrats. Okay. Um, there was also the issue with discards. Yeah, that's what you get when you don't have your wand of disintegration. That's what you get, Mikachu. Now you dodge me. Knife and Book are both really good. I don't know, we're so aggressive, I don't think I need the Gnomish Army Knife. Well, <laughs> Kellerder, have you watched any of this run? If you had watched any of this run, you would... You would... Be convinced it was cannibalism. Right or wrong, you would be convinced it's cannibalism. I did 39 damage to a warrior by turn at after my fourth turn. I mean, I think I killed Trump on turn, like, so Trump was playing a hunter in a heroic between the rounds 
after the first round. Um, and I queued into him with Demon Hunter, and I killed him in three turns, I think. I, I was I was trying some aggro demon hunter list and he was trying a death rattle hunter list similar to mine. Not helping his mind. I actually think he got really far with that run. A safe file, thank you so much for the raid. Hope you had an awesome stream. If you guys enjoy arena content, make sure you check out safe file. Pretty sure he's made the leaderboard like 20 times. Usually a little higher than me, but 21 now. I don't think I've ever said how many times you made the leaderboard correctly. Uh oh, okay. This is the one situation when Plaguebringer is scary. When they also have double time. Okay. His overgrowth is two mana and ramps him for four. Wait, how is how are the runs today? You lost to Shattered Cthulhu. That sounds fun. Is it as fun as it sounds? Well, Alex Straza is so like typically in a warlock deck when you're around this stage. A lot of like you'll kill them with you want to try and kill them with the Cthulhu to shatter and cycle through your deck super quickly. But like 30 damage isn't enough, so that's where Alex comes in. So you Alex them, and then it's like they have to constantly keep putting health on the board, because then they're in trouble. I had one more mana. Oh, he'd be in really good shape. Uh, he can't, he'll be able to, um, guardian animals here. Yeah, so it's kind of like, so how... Part of the struggle that I have with Druid late game is I like, I, I feel like I don't have enough win condition and this takes care of that. Sorry, but that that turns just insane, and it does bother me. <laughs> um, I, 
Do I have room? I think I just kill Max. Nine cards. So I don't have room. I only have room for two cards. Crap. I, I was one mana off lethal. Right? I thought I was one mana off. Because I didn't have room in my hand to play coins. I could have I could have done one more damage. gonna be overloaded. Crazy. Oh no, he's healing! Oh, that's a... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. I don't know exactly how the algorithm works, gross, but, um, basic, they do look at your deck when they're determining the cards they're offering. Exerciser is more flexible, royal gift, and we do go pretty wide from time to time. Uh, Royal Gift combos with um, Ancient Reflections a little. Wait, there's a whole article on it? Are you kidding me? How have I not read this? So does it basically work how I would say? Yeah, I'm reading it now. I was just thinking how it's so funny how, um... How I tell people- I, I, I feel like I tell people so much about how I know- I mean, so it's basically confirming what I suspected with more details. I believe so gross, but um, like that, it won't affect what treasures you get, it affects what cards you're offered. And they're talking more about the smart bucket.
Okay, some of this is just lying, though. I feel like... I Like, they say that if you have five fireballs in your deck, the chance of you seeing another fireball is very low. That seems like a lie. <laughs> hey, Crusher, how are you doing? I feel like I... I feel like you're... Older viewer, but haven't been here for a while. Witness the ways of my forest. You last spoke in March. Warning, I have a black spell. Is this the same person that we just played? Nope. Another. How are you doing, Crusher? I don't know, there's a lot of information in there out and that's just, man, another double time. Well, get this. Okay, that does all apply to group learning only, because you can definitely manipulate the other buckets. Like, you... You cannot be offered Cthune cards with how this deck is built. Because we have no other... You you need old Cthune to get offered Cthune. We have 10 cards and we've drawn one. Good. Yeah. It's not the same guy, but like. Does it matter? We're getting destroyed. He's on 10 mana. I'm on 4. And he has card draw. But yeah, like, you basically need so. Ne if anyone tries to show you a deck list with Druid, but, and they say they went 12 wins, unless. If you. They tell you. Ask them what their second passive was. And if it's double time, don't look at the list. I think we lost chat. That was his turn four. I'm out. I think we don't you for a second. Cuz, uh, yeah, that happened. That, that that was also our worst draw of the run. Dude, I really like I think my spell druid is fun and I think it's I think it's more consistent with the clown druid. If the meta slows down enough, the clown druid could be fine, but like, just get destroyed. Like, that deck requires 30 health.
Ashes of my forest. Uh, just a warning. I have a black glove. So, this isn't the last druid we played, but it's the druid before the last druid we played. Which is a little suspect. But... Here we are. And we had to get lucky against this guy. The game is probably over before turn 8. So, I know I could have discarded Killmox, but like, by not discarding Kill- oh my. The one mana wild growth. So we, we have to get stuff to get on the board. Okay, we're drawing pretty well. Next turn I might play Haunted Creeper Philosophy. Uh, Moonglade Portal? this to live. I think there's a chance I play Alex. I think it's less likely I play Cthune. Done. 
Please no. Got a Lake Thresher. Please no more Lake Thresher. Okay, only one Lake Thresher. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't drawn a single egg the last two games. I, I don't think I'm... Yeah, I did miss Lee. Well, so... He only has six mana. Um... The swipe is unlikely to full clear. He needs more than swipe. Hope he doesn't get a taunt on the second half. Or wait, why don't I just play this? Oh, it's still one off though. I think I got this too. Yeah, I don't have any soul fragment. Otherwise it would have been lethal. Right. Well, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you. I appreciate it. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Check me out on Twitch every day at twitch.tv slash Team America. 
join my Discord for my deck list. You'll find all the links there. Maybe I should put it in the description of this too. But yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Good luck on your run.